What? Oh! Oh, hello. Hi there. It's me again, Jeff. My name is Jeff. Yes, that one. Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a showcase of the first prize of the Pubma PC competition that was held recently. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> Getting into the product itself, obviously the computer came built already, so that saved me a lot of work. Uh, but I just wanted to get into some of the components that were actually put into this PC, uh, so you guys know uh, what it's all about. Maximum effort. Um, first off, from AMD, this amazing. I'm gonna try and get it in focus here. Okay, the AMD Ryzen 7 processor. This is the 2700. And it's the second generation of the Ryzen 7 processors. Um, it's got 8 cores and 16 threads with a 3.2 gigahertz base speed and a maximum boost of 4.1 gigahertz. Uh, let me tell you what a difference that makes to me. The previous PC I was using had an Intel i5-650 uh, uh, dual core processor. So I'll tell you what a difference this is going to make f to me. Warp drive, Mr. Scott. In the box here, let's get into that. A uh, processor unit. The process itself is obviously not in here, but it's inside this box. We have. Uh, let's get it out. Okay, it's the AMD stock cooler that comes for the 2700. Uh, but our good, good friends made sure I won't even need that. Because. They supplied us with this beast. It is the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240 with RGB and Aura Sync. Uh, I'm, I don't know much about liquid cooling. I've never had liquid cooling uh, liquid cooling system before. But from what I've heard, this thing is really amazing. You is cold as ice. So once we get into the box, uh, let's see. Obviously, the cooler is not in here. It's in the unit already. Uh, is there some information booklets and a warranty card? Um, yeah, and. A packet full of, I don't know, what I can describe as the remains after Transformers had a fight with one another. <laughs> I do see there is a different plate here that's obviously for the competitor's processor for mounting uh, this cooling unit. Okay, up next, we're going to get into the GPU. Uh, let me just get this box here. So this is the Radeon RX 580. This is the overclock edition, 8 gig DDR5. Um, and it's the Strix Gaming uh, graphics card. Product specifications on the back, it says yeah, it's powered by AMD Radeon 580 graphics. Uh, connectivity, which is very important, it has a DVI, uh, 2 2.0 HDMI and uh, 1.4 DisplayPort x2. Um, Microsoft DirectX 12 and Vulkan support. 
and Asus Exclusive Innovations GPU Tweak 2 with XSplit Gamecaster. I'll have to find out what it is about. When we open the box, there is a looks very very fancy with a nice welcome booklet uh, inside of which has a CD-ROM. Do people still use CD-ROMs these days? Or CD or optical drives, any drives of any sort? What are you? An idiot sandwich. Because of everything you can get online and everything you can put on a USB disk. Now it has the information booklet and obviously warranty information and the inside of the box is obviously empty because the card is in the machine uh, it has these what looks like uh, has this Republic of Gamer uh, thing they basically to neaten up cables uh, I would assume that's why they're velcro strips yeah so you can use this to <coughs> later to clean up some of the cables if you have the biggest V8 engine What's going to make that engine powerful is if you supply it with the correct fuel. And in this case, for this monster PC bull, we have the Cooler Master 750 watt power supply. The beast of power supply. Let's get inside the box. Well, there's not much because the unit's not here. This is just a. Ah, what is that? These are just connectors. Basically, a 50 shade. Starter pack. Curious. The most important part of any machine is its heart. And the heart here, in terms of the motherboard, is the ASUS Prime X470 Pro. It says here it has a five way optimization, uh, one click overclock, and cooling done. Hmm, interesting. Uh, the M2 heatsink, keep your SSD cooler. And obviously it has the Asus Aura Sync to get all those RGB lights working <coughs> with one another. Okay, when you open the box, uh, there's not much in here. There is a Windows card. So obviously the system does come with Windows. Uh, it has Windows Home 10 64-bit. Um, it's another connector cable in here. Uh, <coughs> another CD-ROM. I assume these are drivers. Yeah, these are drivers for the motherboard. And there's this box here. Uh, what is this? A Data XPG. XPG. I've never heard of that before. Oh, oh it's, it's the DDR, it's the RAM. It's, uh, so this is the XPG uh, DDR4 3000. It's an 8 gig uh, <coughs> it's an 8 gig memory module. Obviously it's empty because it's already in the PC. Um, it would have been nice to have 16 gigs of RAM because that was my initial goal. Uh, but we shall see. We shall test the system. I'm sure it will work well. Shut up and take my money. Uh, out of interest, I, I, I've never seen XPG anyway. If you guys, any of you guys know where I can buy XPG memory from, uh, please leave it in the comment section and let me know. Uh, if, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below and please subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that any new content that comes out you'll be the first to see it. And yeah, check you guys soon. Enjoy.